let's have a hypothetical Joe Biden Yoon Sung Yeol conversation. Yeah. Hi, Joe. No, they he wouldn't say hi, Joe. Uh, hi, Mr. Biden. <laughs> yes, it was nice to see you. So you were? Uh, I'm South Korean president. We Thank you for making jobs in tax. America. Uh, we can't lower the taxes. Uh, we no. can't we can't fund your companies because no. yeah, they're they're mm. not American. Okay. Bye bye. Fucking <laughs> shuddering. Welcome, Welcome to Two's favorite K-pop show, DK News. Ollie, David. Lots and lots of hot ass tea. tea. First off, Rookie Girl Group announces it will disband if it gets less than 100k in album sales. Next, we have a hacker releasing more fake edited photos of Jenny and V. Uh, another news of some parents burning K-pop fans merch. And also, we have the South Korean president bad mouthing the US Congress and maybe even Biden. Very slow news week, <laughs> I gotta say, but... Before we go on, we'd like to share some cool new skincare products at Naked Soul that I've been personally using for the past few weeks. This brand is called Frebits. It focuses on providing fresh vegan beauty products that will help you build healthy habits for your skin. The Frebits Ceramide Serum and Cream provide rich amounts of ceramide into your skin, helping heal and rejuvenate irritated skin and keep you moisturized. Ceramide is a natural fatty acid that provides a protective layer of the skin that helps balance oil and water. Now these products use fermented kombucha water from green tea farms in Jeju Island as their base and use natural allergen-free oils for their scents. Frebit's products are Eve vegan certified, meaning there's no animal testing and also no animal ingredients. And they are free of 20 harmful chemicals often found in other skincare products. The serum comes in a mist form, meaning it's easy to spray and even easier to absorb. And the cream comes in a special container that lets you use it without getting your hands on the product. So get these now at Naked Soul, the service created by us, focused on bringing local Korean brands you wouldn't find anywhere else into your hands. We have cheap and reliable shipping everywhere around the world. And on to the first news. So first news, let's begin with the viral post of some parents burning young K-pop fans merge. How sad. Mm. This video caught my eye and made my heart ache. Mm -hmm. It's a video of a young K-pop fan crying over some ashes. Oh boy. Assumably being the leftovers of her favorite K-pop group's merch. According to the post and comments, her parents had burned her K-pop goods because the girl was apparently obsessed with K-pop. On Twitter, the caption says, If you can't be supportive parents, you can just talk slowly before taking action to burn all the items plus some items that your friends gave you. If you don't like the K-pop stuff in the house, tell them to sell it back or give it to somebody who wants it rather than burning it. Mm. Yeah, which makes sense. So that's a very short I news. feel like that's kind of like a Korean parent right there. No, because actually uh, what this reminded me of was parents actually smashing like Xboxes. Yeah, Xboxes and Nintendos. I saw like several videos like if you don't do your homework, get your ass off out of the computer before I smash it. And they actually like smash it, throw it out of the window, uh, and stuff like that. So good parenting. I don't think so. What happens if your kid is like so obsessed with K-pop? Like she became a sassing. Doesn't go to school. Sa yeah, spends she became all a her sassing. money on it. She follows around idols. Would you burn their CDs? Maybe. Like Yo! If my kid was a sassing and yeah. was spending all her money or like you everything. You can't talk them out of that shit. Yeah, it's like a cult. It's like a religion. I'm not honestly. saying that she's a sassing. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying hypothetically if you were to be in that situation. But the actions of burning something are not justifiable. What would your parenting method be if your kid was a sassing? I don't know. That's why I'm not going to have kids mm -hmm. in the near 10 just futures. Because they might be a sassing. Kid. What would you do, guys, parents out there? If your kid was a sasang. If your kid was <laughs> sad about the girl, I hope she uh, can get back her stuff. Well, she can buy them back when she's an adult and never visit her parents again. 
On to the next news. Okay. Rookie Girl Group announces it will disband if it gets less than 100k units in album sales. Now this seems to be some sad news too. So Rookie Girl Group Triple S went viral among Knets last week after some shocking screenshots from their recent blog circulated in online communities. In the screen caps, the group was given a sales target of 100k units in album sales and stated that it would disband if it failed to meet the target. Oh no. Now this garnered a lot of attention among Knets, many stating that it is an absolutely unrealistic goal for a rookie group to have, mm -hmm. especially from somebody that's not a uh, big label. And they haven't even debuted yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will have to tell them and also you you who clicked on this video that you have been clickbaited. You've been clickbaited okay, too. Wow. The screen caps left some important messages out, maybe intentionally. These goals are not for the group itself, but for units within the group. Only units that surpass 100k album sales will remain as a team. How and big is this group? There's 24 members. It's the new NCT or something? Okay, so Triple S, I did some research and they are actually quite unique they have a total of 24 members currently eight have been revealed the group members uh actually do not know each other what? prior to them being in the group uh, when they do a member reveal the members also do not know mm. and they're like excited mm. and curious about who's you know gonna be the next member yeah, to yeah. join their team also more interestingly fans can gain voting rights uh, over the direction of promotions, activities, and also units uh, of the group via NFT photo cards. Yeah, wow. This project is getting way more crazy. Crazier and vague. The group will create new units and solo work every single season. So I'm guessing there will be multiple seasons and there will be swapping of groups and units. Mm -hmm. uh, the group's unique concept does not stop there. Every single weekday, like every single weekday is filmed and uploaded on that exact same day at 9.30 p.m. As in like the Truman Show? They have been uploading daily videos every single day since May 9th. And this group and hasn't even debuted yet. Why haven't I heard of this group so far? <laughs> so actually like the, the views are quite high high like considering it's from a small company How many? they're averaging maybe 100 to 200k now this might be the most loaded pre-debut marketing you're gonna see you know since luna and that's no coincidence because oh. actually the producer behind luna's concept chong byunggi is the ceo of triple s's label so we can see he drew a lot of inspiration maybe that's his like go-to method uh from luna's reveal strategy which took which took two years and luna editor. was 12. N now we got 24. okay Jeez. first of all it's very complicated also it's very expensive i wish they could focus all those resources the manpower the the money the mm. time into good music and to a solid nice functioning group of maybe well, like that's, four it's, or five. It's too late. I mean, there's already eight. There's 16 there's on the way. There's never too late. No, there's 16 girls waiting. First of all, 24 is a huge ass number. Yes. <laughs> How are you going to feed all of them, all, accommodate all of them, train all of them? Past nine is already a big number. How, right? you'll, you'll probably have need like six managers. You need like a bus. Like 10 you, makeup you, you artists. Can't, you can't like take them on a van. You, yeah. you need you need a fucking bus. Yeah. Yeojin, I think from Luna, she said she hasn't get, gotten paid yet. So Luna hasn't gotten These paid. These girls aren't going to get. There's twelve people in Luna. Well, twenty four. Divide divide what little income you get as an idol, and divide that by twenty four. You're not getting shit. Okay. Okay. So like for example, Music Bank, they give you about a hundred bucks per appearance. I mean that's not their main source of income, but let's divide that in half supposedly where the half of it is taken by the company fifty dollars divide that by 24. How even much is if that? you're like super successful going around world tours and concerts yeah. i feel like splitting that into 24 is not going to leave you uh, much I, I mean they're all chasing their dreams it's just yeah. like logistically speaking this is a very difficult 
project to uh, take realistically. Like just think of the food. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just just feeding them. Yeah. Let's yeah. just say each of them like it costs like what thirty dollars per day, times that by twelve. Uh, you don't even have to do the math. Twenty four. Mm. That's seven hundred dollars yeah, just yeah. spent on food. Yeah, it's a buffet <laughs> every meal. Actually, they Hotel need catering. Before. Good luck to them, and yes. uh, I I think they are already winning on the PR. Yeah, yeah, thing. we're talking about it. Yeah, they they're getting views, so mm. who knows? And on to the next yes. news. So this is some silly news. Uh, it's actually one of the hottest news in Korea. Yeah. Uh, South Korean president is under fire for allegations of bad mouthing the U.S. Congress and President Biden. But while the world is in the brink of facing World War III with Russia and its nuclear threats, South Korea decided to have a heated debate on what the South Korean president said after meeting U.S. President Joe Biden at the conference for the Global Fund in New York. News channel NBC broadcasted that President Yoon was caught saying, It would be so embarrassing for President Biden if those fuckers at the National Assembly don't approve this bill. What the bill is, the Global Fund is an international organization trying to defeat the HIV, TB, and malaria across the developing world, and Yoon's remark appears to be a reference to Biden's pledge to contribute $6 billion, which would require Congress approval. Mm. So after the meeting, he was like, oh, it would be so embarrassing for him if the Congress doesn't pass that. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> the reason it got viral is because he used the terms fuckers like sekider i don't know if it's a direct translation but that's the maybe best. like idiots idiots assholes some fucks he's calling the u.s congress that yeah and also he's saying biden would be embarrassed if that yeah, doesn't yeah. if that doesn't happen in front of a camera yeah this guy's the motherfucking president yeah Afterwards, the South Korean presidential office said the remark was a private comment and was it was inappropriate to connect a private comment to a diplomatic outcome. And they continued to say that the comment was unclear oh, and put out a statement that he said something else and mm. was misheard. Yeah. And they put out like, okay, he said this and that, like... He, they make a lot of excuses. Biden is nalinen or something like that. It doesn't even make sense to me. The conservatives are trying to perform some insane mental gymnastics. Yeah. Trying to switch the message. And the president is also claiming that he did not say that. He said something else but was yeah, misheard. Yeah, like, oh, it's disappointing that you guys like misheard me and you're like twisting my words yeah. and rumors. It's, yeah. it's just a comedy by now. Right, right. Hey, stop it! So the whole nation is fighting over this now and saying that he embarrassed our country and could ne negatively affect diplomatic relationships mm -hmm. with the U.S. And the opposite side is arguing that this is a framed attack by an anti-government broadcasting mm -hmm. station, a biased one, and that they should have consulted with the presidential office before what? publishing the content. Wait, this is a democracy. I know. Like, so there's <laughs> been debates, speech. like free speech, but the <laughs> other side claims that this is not free speech when it uh, negatively affects foreign affairs and it uh, directly cites a uh, presidential comment that could affect that. Sounds stuff. like what communists say. Sounds like a dictatorship. Yep. Meanwhile, Yoon has recently been mocked several times. At the recent conference, uh, he got to talk to President Biden for 48 seconds. Wow, what a great achievement. And he claims that he talked about like <laughs> semiconductor factories yeah. and like, you know. The, in 48 seconds. The Inflation Act that's going <laughs> on in America, which is affecting our mechanics factories in, in the US and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So like, let's have a hypothetical Joe Biden, Yoon Sung Yeol conversation. Yeah. Hi, Joe. No, they. he wouldn't say hi, Joe. Uh, hi, Mr. Biden. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was nice to see you. So you were? Uh, I'm South Korean president. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to the conference. Uh, Hyundai, Samsung, US. Oh, they're amazing Tech. companies. Yes. Uh, thank you for making jobs in tax. America. Uh, we can't lower the taxes. But we no. can't we can't fund your companies because no? yeah they're they're mm. not American. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Before he flew there, mm. the presidential office said that they would uh, solve the issues. Uh, right now, a lot of Korean car companies are making factories in the U.S creating huge jobs yes. and huge economies there. But the problem became uh, the U.S. made an inflation act and they're giving out funds for people who are buying like electric cars, but right. only cars that are made by U.S. Yeah. companies and yeah. U.S. Uh, 
what do you call it, me mechanics and blah, blah, blah. But Hyundai and all those other Korean companies are not going to get those uh, subsidiary funds and stuff like that. So, so it's a huge, huge loss for them. Yeah, yeah. We just got like stolen. Mm -hmm. You know, we're making jobs for them and we're giving like money to them. But... Biden is building a bigger wall than Trump. <laughs> In some sense. So, like, the nation's, <laughs> the nation's, you know, wish was for our president to go there and, like, put a word to Biden. Yeah, and you just said, nice weather. The frustrating thing is, like, like this, the conservative press were, like, trying to make this a big deal. Like, oh, he spoke to the U.S., the POTUS, for 48 seconds. He had a fruitful conversation. <laughs> Bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's 48 seconds. <laughs> You don't even have time enough for talking about the yeah, weather. Yeah, it's like, what did you eat for breakfast today? I don't think the country is going the right direction. I don't think it has a nice leader right now. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's that's a stupid thing. Please don't get offended, U.S. fellow allies. To be uh, honest, I don't think like something personal like this would have that much effect in diplomacy. You never know. Like, you know, if you were POTUS and you were mm -hmm. getting like briefed in mm -hmm. your office and then you hear like, oh, by the way, there's like this little news going on from the South Korean government. Apparently the president called our U.S. Congress like, fuckers and they he said you might be a disappointment if you don't get this bill passed yeah he if you hear you. if you hear that while you're eating your, is like morning coffee he's like, like hmm okay these motherfuckers aren't getting any uh do you government think, money do you think from... biden will say motherfuckers in the white house yeah 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 get, get those hyundai motherfuckers yeah <laughs> <laughs> shut down all their fucking factories yeah on to the next news speaking of Fake news. Meanwhile, we got more fake, clearly fake, edited photos from the Gen V leaker. Uh, this time, fake photo of V lying down with what they are saying is Jenny's parents' cat. But you can obviously tell that like these two are completely different cats. It's not Jenny's cat, V's cat. Wow. Cat is actually, I found out, Good job, photoshopped Sherlock. from a YouTube video Wow! The reflection of the windows do not match that of the floor. What? Wow. These sideburns are longer in one picture than the other when it's supposed to be taken on the same day near the same time. Yes! That's what you meant, right? Yes! His ears are different in size and location as well as angle, and his mole is in different places, obviously making it a Photoshop. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Meanwhile, Blackpink debuted at number one Finally. on the Billboard 200, making history as the first female K-pop artist to achieve the feat, also becoming the first all-female group from any country, any country to achieve that feat uh, since 2008. That should have been the actual news. I want to make a promise. Let's not have any more Jenny V stuff on oh, our no, channel. No, 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 no. Like, no, please. No. Like, I'm tired of it Once as in a the while. channel owner and, like, as the news. But what if <laughs> there's, like, myself. what if they, okay, so what if they announce their engagement? I think the narrative, the framing of our news sections, if we were to cover it, should mm. be concerns about their security, like their mm. cybersecurity, their yeah, like, privacy. Yeah, which is why I'm saying it's fake. Yeah, that should be the main Stop focus. Stop photoshopping. Yeah, like these pictures, they're just being, they're just ridiculous now. They're a joke. Like nobody should care. Like nobody should believe they're the real. In other news, Day6 has announced that all four remaining members of the group have renewed their contract with JYP. The group is on military hiatus. Young K, Doon, and one peer are set for discharge next year. Song Jin finished his service on September 6th wow. and held a meet and greet the very next day. See, military goes on this fast. Like Life in the goes blink on. of an eye. Like we do a couple DK news and they're back. Yeah. Honestly, like other people's military service flies by. Oh, that's true. My yeah. military service it, felt like hell. But. but I'm so happy because I love Day6 music. Mm -hmm. I think they're like a hidden gem in K-pop. Yeah. And their music is like one of a kind in K-pop. Mm -hmm. So... I, I just really want this band to be really preserved and well set and I'm so happy that mm -hmm. they signed all, all of it. Yeah. yeah, so that's it for today's DK News. KST is our weekly live stream uh, for Patreon only, patreon.com slash dkdktv. Uh, for just $5, you can enjoy a weekly one hour live stream where we talk more in depth about uh, the things that we discussed today 
and also other things. Uh, this week we're gonna talk about Anna Lee's appearance on Ollie London's music video. Oh wow! Congratulations yeah. to her. She got she got this she by debuted. Ollie London. Oh. Maybe we might interview her. She made it now. Yeah, she got the clout. I was a little disappointed. I I was never in Ollie's videos. Why would you set that as your goal? And also we're gonna talk about V having a tattoo on his ass. Baby. Oh yeah, I heard that news. Yeah, very big news. Yeah. Oh, sure. Ah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Um, and other fun things. So we'll keep you updated. Click on the link down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.